hey welcome guys welcome to my channel and today we are going to talk about the new feature of angular 12 so let's continue with that so guys so first of all we are going to talk about little summary a background about the angular so guys in this video we will discuss what's included in the version 12 of angular unveiling the new feature of angular 12 and changes that angular team has brought with along and yes angular 12 is here so basically as promised by the google that they're going to release every six months a major angular release and in the last 13th may they have just released the angular 12 version with bunch of new features that is not only going to give you some additional functionality but also going to make your front end experience a little better and rich so guys over some time in the past few releases we have been hearing of the iv around in the angular space everywhere everybody is talking about iv engine iv engine iv engine but now is when we can see moving towards to this core so all the new updates in the angular a little efforts to enable the transition of going to IV every week. so what are the top angular features so what are the top 12 angular features so here we have the list of top angular 12 new features that you need to know to upgrade your app to angular 12 so yeah so here's the first feature IV a uh, step little closer so the big announcement of deprecating the view engine is out and uh, hence none of the future major release will have it and if you exist and if your existing libraries are using view engines don't worry about it because your libraries will work fine with the IV application as well. So basically, Angular developers have nothing to be afraid of. But yes, the Angular library authors need to be start working upon the IV transitions. And uh, yeah, the good thing about this Angular, Angular community is here. There are a lot of posts about it. So if you wanted to read them, I'll share this link into the comment into the description section. You can go and check. Next feature is switch from the i18n. Yes. So we no more need to be cautious about using the legacy message id formats like white spaces icu expressions and format templates angular 12 has bought a more resilient and intuitive id format that will minimize the invalidations and retransitions cost so throw all the new projects since angular 11 so so all the new projects since angular 11 were auto configured to the new message id now with angular 12 we have got the essential tools to migrate the transitions coming up with the protector so basically the core purpose of the protector of to manage the flow of the asynchronous operation without using the promise so later it was proved that the protectors doesn't help in upgradation so it is kept limited in the use so so it kept limited to use in angular js only but avoid it into the angular 2 plus versions so but the progress on the protector feedback is still ongoing and uh, henceforth so the the angular community has decided to restrict usage of protector in new project and rather using third party solutions in angular cli so some of the alternative solutions are uh, tried with uh, Cypress, Web Drive IO, and Test Cafe. Then we have uh, the third one. Wow, this is my favorite. This is awesome, actually. So Nullish Operator, basically. I was looking for it for a, from a very long time, actually. So what is Nullish Operator, basically? So basically, TypeScript developers out there might have already been excited about this particular Angular 12 feature. Me too. Yeah. So basically, the fantastic knowledge operator, which is double question mark is the sign of the operator, that enables you to write cleaner code is now accept acceptable in Angular 12 template. Yes, this is the awesome feature I'm looking for. Now you don't have to create a long condition with like we have multiple nested objects. You always have to mention like item and then item dot this property item dot this property this property dot this property is available. Then do this stuff. But now you can directly write like item double question mark item double question mark dot property name double question mark dot and property name so this will make your code look like little better not little better i will say awesome actually. so here's the example you can see that so in this example you can see that we have a very big line of questions so so in this example you can see that this is how we can write our if condition now yeah so in the first example you can see that this was the older one this is how we used to write the code but in the second one this is how you will write now so how cool is that right this is awesome yeah i like it now we have the again the next feature is angular learning basically i'm not sure what is it yeah uh this is not the feature but uh, i will i wanted to point it out because lot, lots of developers are looking for where we can read the documentation where they can re get to know what are the new feature and how these things works so basically google always tries to improve the developers learning experience 
and because of the same reason you will find some change in the angular 12 documentation with an addition of the content production guide yes this is the document that you can read i have shared the link into the description section again also there is a contributors guide that helps the developers improve their projects and the documentations uh, more to this ever since the angular 11 release the community shares useful ways to debug uh, guides and all videos all there available so i have shared the link into the description section you can go through the angular guide uh, website and you can watch videos for the implementation next next thing is the style improvement what is in the what does it mean by the style improvement name itself it is trying to say that this changes for the css purpose only so basically the the best part of another 12 feature is the this amazing thing yeah they have added support for inline sas in styling fields yes you're right they have added inline sas feature into the uh inline style so now you can write sas code inside the html itself so yeah so in style feeds and component decorators earlier developers could only avail sas from external medium because of the limitation of the angular compiler but you can add this support by using the scss or you should add the following command so you can add the support by adding this command like inline style language dot scss so in your json file you just need to add this thing and you are good so talking about the talvin css so angular version 11.2 had already enabled the support for styling uh, but another um, another update is that angular material and angular cdk have adopted the new scss module as well so for which you will have to download this npm package like sas npm package i'll sh uh, i'll sh i have shared the link in the description section just go there and check it out so this package you need to install and switch from the node to sas it will automatically do that so the new sas api comes with uh, the adrit use syntax and which makes it more useful and has many full naming conventions already there so as you update your web app to angular 12 feature you will be automatically switched to the new sas api as well this is the great thing i guess yeah okay so now the next thing is bid adu i11 but I'm, i'm not sure if i pronounce this right i'm not sure if i pronounce this right but uh, what it is saying like it is rightly said so basically it is saying nothing lasts forever so and now is the time we bid farewell to the internet explorer 11 and yeah ie 11 is deprecated so you will find the deprecation message in angular 12 version for internet 11 ie 11 basically so until version 11 it was supported but now it is deprecated totally entirely so uh, the not so good news for ie lovers uh, your favorite browser ie 11 will not be supported by the new version of angular 12 is the kind of bad news yeah but yeah good news for developers they don't have to maintain the stuff they do, they can get rid of the ie like browser compatibility stuff right this is the right this is the good stuff right so let's talk about the next some more of new angular 12 features so now let's so now let's talk about the some more of new angular 12 features they are not that big but still available in the release so here are the additional feature of the angular 12 so first thing is prevention of accidental development builds with executing ng build so earlier when what is what is this basically so maybe it is trying to say that accidentally developed build will be removed uh, completely when you try to create a new build with ng build command so I, i'm not sure about this but something it is going to be behind the scenes so that's why it is not the uh, not a big thing yeah you you don't even going to notice it second thing is cli strict mode by default yeah this is kind of something that you need to think about like by default if you are not going to off your strict mode it is going to be enabled by default and you cannot write the bad code now in your code so the the developers who used to take advantage of the java script flexibility and uh, maybe i'm not sure but you might face some issues while writing your code you will see compilation issues uh so with the help of typescript of course it is reduced already but thing is i'm not sure uh yeah let's talk let's see when we use it but uh, i i'm still worried about thing like uh, if uh, we need to off it manually before doing this if, if you don't want it because the existing project it is developed by many developers like i'm not uh, so in uh, so that project will definitely get impacted with this they have to do it manually turn it off yeah they can do it they can't do anything with the existing projects right 
uh, but the new project that we're going to start from the scratch yeah we should keep it enabled because it's a good practice but the thing is it could create issue while using third-party libraries like other other, lab, other libraries uh, i'm not sure if they are written in the existing versions they cannot wait to these things like we have to turn it off if we're going to use it uh, so so this is something we need to think about yeah this is kind of could be a breaking change so the thing is next thing is <clears throat> mandate implications of iv based language support yep again iv keywords is here so basically in angular 12 versions iv engines is completely available and they are going to remove the existing view engine that we used to use in angular previous versions but now iv engine is here so everything will be based on the iv engine so basically language support is also going to be moved to the entirely iv support so the next thing is uh, experimental support of wapac 5 yep this is the good thing uh in the previous angular 11 release if you have watched my previous video in the new features i have talked about the angular 5 uh, uh, sorry the wapac 5 already and uh, there they have a kind of added as experimental feature but now it is completely available so it's a good stuff the next thing is support for typescript v version 4.2 yeah so support for 4.2 is here typescript 4.2 so what are the new features of 4.2 you can go and read into the documentation of typescript website so now let's talk about what will discontinue in angular 12 <laughs> So with every new invention, we have to let go of the old school techniques and only for the betterments in the same manner. Removal of the legacy software like Internet Explorer focuses more on adapting to the modern and new solution of the developers as well as the users. Yeah, so next thing is how to upgrade to Angular 12 version. So you can use this command like ng upgrade. So you can use this command ng update angular cli and angular core uh, it will automatically update uh, to the latest version but uh, I, I, I will not recommend you to directly go to this thing instead of this just try to uh, okay if you are on angular 11 you can directly use this command you can move to the angular 12 version but the problem here is if you are on angular 6 angular 7 angular 8 versions or maybe less than these versions so you should always try to upgrade by version one by one or at least skip one version you can skip but, but the thing is you can speak more than one versions because you will stuck a very you will stuck into a very big problem actually you will get a lot of errors you have to solve these problems then you have to move to the other one so it will that will uh, i mean waste you a lot of time actually so instead of uh, moving directly from version 6 to 12 mm -hmm. instead of this just try to upgrade the angular 7 8 9 10 step by step solve those problems step by step you cannot i mean I, I'm talking about from personal experience i have tried it for the very first times and i have wasted a lot of time to doing this but again i have to move to the reverse problem reverse uh, i had to move reverse and i had to upgrade step by step so i have already wasted my time but for and this is my learning and i wanted to share with, with you so you will not have to waste that much time all right so always upgrade step by one by one one by one and uh, for for this thing uh, here's the command you can use you just need to add a version with the command and it will upgrade to that particular version only okay so all right guys so uh, that's all for this video i hope you have learned something today and if you did uh please hit the like button of this video and if you're the, if you're new to the channel please subscribe hit the subscribe button as well so you can get uh, the update whenever i upload a new video i always keep uploading this type of information video uh thank you so much thank you for your time have a good day and please take care stay safe